Hi everyone, it's Kino. I'm here in Berlin at the awesome Jiva Mukti Center here. Today's clip is going to be about twisting for beginners. Now, in a posture called Marijasana C, which comes from the Ashtanga Yoga primary series, a lot of people who have a lack of flexibility in the shoulders, the spine, or the hips find some limitations. So, I want to show you some tips. If you're one of those people that finds your body a little inflexible, these are some tips that will help you get into the posture really well, with ease and with comfort, so that you can feel the benefits of the twisting posture come into your life. Now, what are the benefits of the twisting posture? Well, first of all, we're working with cleansing the internal organs. So we're sucking in the belly and we're sort of wringing out the intestines and all of the, 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 the lower belly and that's really going to help facilitate twisting but more importantly it's going to bring a cleansing and detoxification into the stomach region which is going to help you to remove impurities from your body. That's a really important facet of twisting and actually if you find yourself really restricted with twisting it's sometimes recommended to do a dietary cleanse and see if that can help free up some of the flexibility in the, the spine and in the torso and that might actually help you get deeper into the posture. So let's take a look at Marichasana C. You're going to start off actually like in Dandasana position because this is like the seated neutral position. You'll feel your sitting bones pressed firmly into the ground. We'll start on the right side. You're going to bend your right knee and bring it as close into the body. You want to avoid leaving the foot too far out because you want to use the full bend in your knee to get more flexion inside of your hip joint. So when the hip joint really flexes, you'll feel the head of the femur, the head of the thigh bone descend deeper into the hip socket. So in order to get that feeling, you're going to grab a hold of your knee and you're going to press down as you suck in the belly and bring your torso close to your thigh. This is a great preparation moment where you can feel both sitting bones pressing into the ground and you're just pressing down, down, grounding the hip joint, letting the head of the thigh bone draw deeper into the socket. Now the position of the foot to the thigh is really important. You want at least a hand's distance between the foot and the thigh. And you want that foot to be parallel position, so not turned out and not turned in, so that the heel and the toes track right in the same line. You want the foot to be in line with the hip joint, not too wide and not too narrow. But again, that hand's distance between the foot and the thigh will be a good um, you know, measure to assure that that's the correct alignment. Your supporting leg, which is the leg that's extended, needs to stay firm and engaged. You want to be sure not to hyperextend your knee if that's a possibility, so do not press the knee into the ground. You can keep the heel planted. That'll help keep weight forward. So after we stayed in this position for a little while, your hip should be your hips should be bending pretty deeply, so then you can get you know, ready to do the posture. You want to initiate the twist from all the way down in the lower belly. So you want to find your pubic bone, and you could suck the low belly in all the way down to the pubic bone, reaching back, and then you're going to internally rotate that hip joint, which is going to take it deeper into flexion. Then you'll suck the belly in, engage from the pelvic floor, and twist bringing your body all the way around your thigh. It's very important that you initiate this movement from deep down inside of the pelvis. So you're sucking in and reaching the torso around. The lower ribs are going to drop into the center and you're going to reach over. Now if you're stiff or strong in your shoulders, this is the place where most people fight the posture and push into it. I would really advise you do not fight, do not push the posture. Suck in the belly as you inhale and exhale, lean around your thigh. If you're really stiff, you can hold this position for five breaths, just reaching over, reaching over, stabilizing the pelvis, reaching over, reaching over, and then you're bringing the chest close to your knee. Now when it's time to bind this hand around, you want to make sure that the elbow is past the shin. If the elbow doesn't pass the shin, you're going to stop there and maybe just turn the arm down trying to reach further around. Once the elbow passes the shin, then you're reaching the shoulder around the shin and you're going to rotate down. Now people that have a hard time rotating the shoulder, you can use this other hand, but the trick to using the other hand is to suck in the belly and use the strength of the pelvis to lift all of the weight forward. Then you can hold onto your shoulder, rotate the shoulder down, lift, send the elbow up to the ceiling, and you can actually press your arm around, right? This is the position that is really going to test the flexibility of the shoulders. You want to make sure the shoulder rotates down and around your thigh, and then you'll lift from only the right side, lift the sternum while this shoulder stays down and forward, and then you'll reach around holding your hands. Now if you can't hold your hands, you can reach for, you know, a block, or not a block, sorry, you can reach for a strap or a towel, and you can hold on to that. Let me show you from the other side so that you can really see what the bind looks like from this angle too. So we'll just do the left side right from here. That hand's distance is going to stay in between, and remember the setup, you're going to press down, sucking in the belly, and this is the place where you increase the flexion of the left hip joint. So we'll just hold that, 
Breathing, five breaths here, getting the hip joints nice and flexed, nice and grounded, feeling the pelvis pressing into the ground, and then you're gonna suck in the belly, internally rotate the hip joint that you're bending around, lean the weight of the body back, suck in the belly, and reach all the way over. And this is the position that's gonna set you up for the whole practice, for the whole posture. So we're lifting the belly in and reaching it over. And this is the place where you wanna avoid that sensation of tugging and pushing, surrender and release into the posture. After five breaths here, you transfer the weight of your body forward, feeling a deeper flexion in the hip joint, and this is where you can use your arm to rotate the shoulder down, that elbow points up. You can grab hold of your forearm and your fingers, pushing the fingers all the way up, keeping that shoulder rotating down and forward. You're gonna keep the belly sucked in, your body reaching down around your thigh, your shoulder girdle stabilized with the strength of your pec muscle, and then as you exhale, you're reaching around, a nice, easy hold on your fingers, on your wrist, whatever you can hold. And remember, if you can't hold on, you can't reach, you can hold on to a strap, and you can let that strap be the guide to reach all the way around. So this is a nice, easy introduction to twisting. You wanna make sure to practice with patience, and if you can't reach for the bind, stay at your maximum level and hold that for five breaths. If you do it consistently, day after day, the flexibility, the cleansing will certainly come, and you'll feel the benefits of the practice. Thanks so much for watching.